what's up youtube this is your boy king daniax we're back with another tutorial today i'm gonna show you how to change white to any color because it's easy to change any color beside black and white by using the hue you can change any color to a color that you picked i have an image here i already done something like that i just went on adobe color and then i just picked colors that are actually that are complementing each other so these are the colors that i actually decided to pick and then i just screenshot everything there and then i drag it to photoshop and then i have this image and uh, this is not the original image this is how it looks if you get it right but it also takes a bit of time to get it looking uh, proper i can just change the color of the jet to any color i want now but surprisingly the color of the shirt is white let me show you an example this is after and this is before everything even the background this is before this is the original image let's just delete everything we just did here and let me teach you this trick it's actually a very simple trick uh, which i've just learned like a month ago i had a client who wanted me to change his t-shirt it was white he wanted me to change it to blue the first thing you can do now this is not my original idea i just took it from someone else which i can give a give credit to on the description below you can also watch that video because it has more information i'm just going to show you how to do it here if you're a first time beginner this video might help you so let's see the first thing you have to do is make a selection of your white you can using you can do that by using your selection tool up here but i really don't like using the quick selection tool especially when it comes to colors usually i just go to selection up here and just go to color range and then you get an option like this i can just select the shirt here or the logo let me just select the shirt here and just play around with the fuzziness here and then till i get something like this just press ok already automatically it's gonna make a selection and you can just come to your quick selection tool and then just press shift to add and alt to minus so let's just press alt because i want to remove here it made a selection on other parts of the skin just press alt here and then just let it here you don't have to press shift here because it's already on plus let's just say we made our final selection and then all you can do now is, show, is just go to your adjustment layer and just select solid colors here it's gonna look like this and then let's just pick a random color just gonna go with green just press ok here it will appear like this don't worry just change the blend mode into multiply multiply it will look like this as you can you can just zoom in here and you will see everything is okay here you might like it like this but we can make it look better as you can see you also have a problem here you can just select your brush tool and then come to your mask layer and make sure here it's it's black and white if you don't know how to make that just press d on your keyboard it will change it to black and white now it's white we're just gonna we just have to paint black here just press x to swipe between those two okay let's just go to black and then to decrease and increase your brush size just press open square bracket or close square bracket just like this just paint black here it's just gonna remove the selection if you want to make it a bit more realistic you have to go to you have to add a curves layer on top of here and then just group both of this just press ctrl and then g it's gonna make a group selection and then just drag this layer this mask layer here and just put it here now it's, it's gonna work on everything that is inside the group let's just zoom in which is control plus control plus control minus control zero for full screen let's just press control plus let me just remove this here so from your curves just double click on curves here and then it's gonna appear here and then from here you just have to select here and then come to your dark parts of your t-shirt uh, it, it, it doesn't matter what kind of object you're trying to change colors from so just select here and just come to your darkest part or the shadows on your object and just decrease something like this 
because now we are adding tapped you don't have to overdo this this is okay and then now you go to your highlight the brightest part of your object and just drag it up something like this not too much just a bit something like this then from here i think we're done let's just do this control zero this is before and then this is after before after you can pick also different color let's just do this you can turn it to any color you want but you also have to adjust here and the saturation here make sure it's on 50 percent and then from here you can just play around if you want to make it blue as you can see it looks natural because of the curves without the curves it will look different let me show you an example as you can see okay and then i also try to change the color of the background since i have something like this which i already picked the colors that are complementary each other on top of that you have to sorry a bit delete here and then you just go to window and then go to color which is f6 press color here and then come to switches or swatches come to swatches in order for you to select that you have to make sure your eyedropper tool is on and then this when you when you select the color it's just gonna add it on top of here something like that and then we could just move to the other window we already have our colors here they are already selected let's say i want to change the color of the background i will do the same thing select my image down here go to select and then go to color range just select the background like this and then play around with my fuzziness uh, if you have shadows down here which are a bit green you can just select shift to add them also something like here something like this and just play around the fuzziness just press ok and then it will make a selection for you this selection is quicker than quick selection tool and then from here you can just add another adjustment so let color something like this which it will replace the background just press ok and there's another thing i forgot to show you just select on the mask lay on the mask option here press alt and then select it will change it to something like this and this will give you another option to deselect the selected unnecessary parts and you can just select your paint here and make sure it's black here because you, you want to remove those selected parts and just paint out here make sure your brush flow is on 100 opacity is on 100 also just so uh, and do something like this to go back just press alt z or control z sorry also make sure your hardness usually it's around 60 50 then just do this and to do the edges, you have to decrease your brush and zoom in. Something like this. Sorry. Um, something like this. This is good. And then just press Alt again and just select here to go back to the original fo format. Okay. As you can see, everything just disappeared here. You can just come back here and your eyedropper one two three four five and just go back here and just double click here it's gonna open your color picker and you can just change it to any color you want any color you want but make sure your saturation is always 50 percent and just pick any color you want i like the red which is red until which is orange and two something like this i also like this i'm just gonna leave it here make sure here it's 60 percent i don't know what happens on 100 percent but it depends how saturated the color is so something like this guys i can say this is our final picture changing white to any color that you prefer to change it to thank you please subscribe to my channel this is king denny x signing out